Well, welcome back into Alabama's 13 News Saturday. And in just a moment, we're going to hear a song from probably my favorite Broadway show of all times. The first Broadway show I ever saw was a chorus line when I was 10 years old at the Fox Theater in Atlanta. And luckily, we're going to have a chorus line here in Birmingham again as part of Summerfest. And joining me now is Angela Tower Walker, who is starring as Sheila. Sheila Bryant. In yes. a chorus line. Mm -hmm. Also want to mention right off the top that Angela is a former Miss Alabama. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, we did do some pageants together. Yes, we, we did. Well, yes. it's good to see you again. Thank you. It's good to be here. So what can you tell me about this production of a chorus line? Now, tell me something special that folks are going to see. I know the show itself is mm -hmm. special. What's special about this production? What's very special about this uh, production is that James Hatcher wanted to bring back his protégés to do this show and quite a few of these people have gone on to successful careers on Broadway, touring companies, at Disney. Um, it was a, reu a reunion show and, and that's what really makes it special. Plus the high energy, as you well know, when you were you know, a 10 year old, you saw it, I'm sure you just did, mm -hmm. were amazed by it. The choreography, the music, Michael Bennett was, was an absolute genius and I think that will really show. Mm -hmm. One mm -hmm. thing I love about the show is that it's so realistic to the life of a dancer. That's right. Just getting a part in the chorus line, the folks mm -hmm. who don't have their names in lights. And we're going to learn a lot about each one of those people in the chorus line. Tell us a little bit about Sheila. Well, Sheila is coming upon a decision in her life as to whether she wants to continue on. She's, she's 30, she's reaching 30, about the time when maybe a dancer's career starts to fade. And she's trying to figure out what direction to take from there. So it's a, you know, it's a definitely a crossroad for her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, right now we have Christy Tingle who's going to join us. She's playing the role of Diane. D Diana. Diana. Right. She is incredible. Uh, and tell, <laughs> me a little bit, tell me a little mm -hmm. bit about that part, about that character. Well, she's Puerto Rican and is um, very interested in the art of, of dancing and singing and uh, just shows her tremendous love for it in the numbers that she does and, and uh, the road that she's taken. Uh, she, she talks about a teacher that uh, kind of gave her a hard time, and, and she really finds out what it's all about herself. Okay, mm -hmm. and joining us now is Christy Tingle Higginbotham. She's going to be singing What I Did for Love, probably one of the best-known songs mm -hmm. from a chorus line. Beautiful. So, Christy, you can hit it. Kiss today goodbye The sweetness and the sorrow Wish me luck the same to you And I can't regret what I did for love What I did for love Look my eyes are dry The gift was ours to borrow it's as if we always knew And I can't forget what I did for love What I did for love Well, that was wonderful. One of the best-known songs from a chorus line. That's referred to as the Dancer's National Anthem. Uh -huh. <laughs> Definitely. And, um, so chorus line opens when? June 20, uh, J June 26, that's when I got married. <laughs> okay. July 26 through, um, <laughs> August, through August 1st. And that's going to be at Batwell Auditorium as a yes. part of Summerfest. Yes, and they can get tickets through Fastix or through Batwell. And mm -hmm. I want to ask you, how does it feel to be a part of a, a cast of a chorus line? I know growing up that was always one of my dreams, mm -hmm. just to be able to do a chorus line, the longest running musical in Broadway history. What does that mean to you? It's been... Um, a very challenging, um, exciting, there's so many talented people that are going to be performing in this production. It's been a great experience, it really has. And a really nice tribute to James Hatcher. Certainly, yes. Okay, thank you so much, Angela Tower Walker and Christy Tingle Higginbotham for joining us. Alabama's 13 News will be back in just a moment.